thing. Like, what's up, man? Y'all, y'all blow my mind with all the stuff y'all be requesting, man. What about Cardi B and Offset? What What's funny is what a lot of people don't realize is this is Jennifer Lopez, Sean Puffy Combs, done all over again. The, the the industry does this. This is what managers do. This is what they basically uh, network and come together and work with them and create these relationship scenarios. We've seen it with Dave Lowe's and Lil Durk. We, we, oh, they so cute together. You get the social media people talking about it. Let them hold hands and walk around and her heart always going to be with dude up in jail. You know that. That's her day one. And you guys make it all. That's because he, he was hitting it right. So that's probably her first look. Yeah, everything ain't about sex. He probably did it just it. She got she down for life. Plus she a Hispanic chick. Most Hispanic chicks, they down. If you do it the right justice for them, they can't forget that forever. And you always have them by the break. But do I believe this is a relationship? Seriously, no. Um, I look at it like the Jennifer Lopez, just like Jennifer Lopez now. She she dates for opportunities. You know, that's what she's always done. She used. She came in the game. She her acting career was not working out. She was not getting the roles in the movie she was in. You know. She was with Anaconda. She had just did Money Train. And she was the other person in that. And her career was spinning out of control. She wasn't getting no buzz. So she wanted to go into music. And who did she run into? Sean Puffy Kong. And she put it on Puff. They were both dancers. And this was like right after Big had passed. And they hit it off. Next thing you know, she's dancing in Puffy's video. And it goes from there to dating a relationship. And she used him to get that platform so people could notice her. Next thing you know, she's got the, this dress on that everybody's been gluing to their body ever since. Going to the war show with Diddy. And she got an album out of it. It about one, two albums. She she had an identity. She networked, got herself in position. And from that point she was on. And when the music career died down, she started dating a Hollywood A-list, Ben Affleck. And then she became the biggest movie star in the world. Started getting real, real roles, real offers. Where she played the maid. Jennifer Lopez was outstanding as the maid in Manhattan. And then she started doing all these big roles. So she knew how to use whatever she needed to get to where she wanted to get to. But now look where she's at. Over a hundred million dollars. And for what? I have no idea. But she has over a hundred million dollars. So All I can tell you is this. This Cardi B situation could mirror that. I'll set it right for her. Keep helping her write songs. Being on her, doing features. They could take this thing to the next level. And I'm not saying she needs him for all her talent and all this stuff. And, you know, she's good making this young teenage stuff or she be a one-hit wonder I don't know 
But she definitely showed people that, hey, you ain't got a life don't end on the pole. You can slide down the pole to get yourself in position to do something else. So I I commend her. She she was on the pole. She got off the pole and and decided, look, I'm finna get in the game like everybody else, and I'm gonna make it. I mean, whenever you got other people talking about Cardi B who don't really normally listen to music, you done something. You pulled it off. You made it happen. So you got something to be proud of. I mean, because, you know, she, she turned that love into hip hop thing with Courtney and, I mean, Mona Scott and all that stuff. So, you know, she turned it into gold. She spun it all into gold for herself. But a lot of people don't realize Mona Mona was a manager at the record company. I think a Violator, if I'm not mistaken. She used to work up there. So she she knows, you know, talent and knows a lot of people in this game. So she probably helped her open some doors or something. But this chick who's, who's ratchet, you know, that's where she comes from. She People are like, man, she too ratchet. I mean, yeah, you know, it's your taste. It's a lot of ratchet people <laughs> that gravitate to her because they used to that type of behavior. They used to her doing her thing. That's why you see the rants on Instagram and all that stuff. And, and then Offset, you know, he got a short fuse, you know, he hood dude. What did I tell you about that blue, that blue, blue? Blue, 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 <laughs> and one thing about the Migos, though, they'll fight you. <laughs> and they talented. They're, the, they're a group that's going to make more money apart than they ever will together. That's the part that people don't understand. And thank God for Bad and Bougie. People forgot the Migos was out before Bad and Bougie. <laughs> like Bad and Bougie, they first song. No, no, they were making hits. But four bad and bougie. But they were bad and broke. And bad and bougie just really put them right back in the position to make more money. And that's the sign of a bad contract. When you see them doing a lot of features separate. Which means they're going to make a lot more doing features than they would doing their own songs. And another thing about them. <coughs> they are probably one of the few groups where each member... Is known. You know, I'm just like, wow, this one is just as known as this one. All right, cool. He's on a lot of features. This one's on a lot of features. Okay. You know, Quavo's probably the most famous. Him, uh, him and all set and all this time. I'm like, look, they doing their thing. You know, because this is a group I probably wouldn't understand, uh, like, you know, listen to or heard or knew well, they were even on a song. If it wasn't, like, this song, like, my cousins was playing it, and they, like, they young enough to introduce me to it. But no, they made it to the level where it comes to your living room, you gonna hear them. You gonna know their names. <laughs> you know, you gonna know them. 
They're going to make sure you know them. But if the, the relationship thing, though, with Austin and Cardi B, you know, we, we've seen this show. You know, and they're going to have a massive breakup and still be cool in one of those situations. The one don't upset the other. Now nah, they're talking about, oh, they getting married. And she, no, nah, we're not getting married. We did not get engaged. You know, it's, it's a whole big show. But you know what it does? Keep all these people in the hip-hop world writing about them. And they writing about Cardi B. Cardi B, her name's in the headlines. And she gonna end up getting more out of it than probably Offset, but it's helping him out individually, stay on top of the charts and stay on top of the well the platform where people see his picture more. So good strategy. I mean, they basically sucked away all Kodak Black buzz when his uh, tape dropped. Just they whole little relationship thing. So, good for them. I'm out. Oh, yeah, when they break up, come back and play this video again. And say, Carcino told us this is going to happen. <laughs> I'm out.